Alright boys and girls, so I want to show you the simplest way to convert a 6 volt Volkswagen wiper assembly to 12 volt. Um, these armatures are pretty cheap. This is the part number for the Volkswagen Beetle model. Let's see, does it focus in there? It's 113955811B, and that's pretty generic. Um, there's a lots of places you can get those on the internet and all that. So anyways, one thing you have to be concerned about is I found that um, a few of these are different sizes. So you, if you run into a problem where it's hitting the magnets, you need to make sure that this is um, the right size. I actually have already machined this one back down. This one was too large originally. Anyways. So let's get started on this. Most of the time these all just drop right in. So you take a little straight screwdriver, let's flip the uh, little clip off just like you do on your valve cover. All right. Take off the top cover, put that to the side, and here's your armature right here. And it has this little apparatus that helps the uh, brushes to it. And it has two bolts, one there and one here. That holds the whole assembly on. So I'm going to switch hands because I'm right handed. I'm holding the camera from my left. And we're going to take these bolts out. I don't have to take any wires off or anything. This is a pretty simple thing. Only thing you do want to be careful for is that the spring doesn't go flying if it's a little special washer. So take those loose. Here we go. And as you can see, there's a wire going here. This is for the ground. This is power and ground. Alright, let's get this out. There, and pull this one out. Whoa, whoa, careful there, careful there. Gotta be careful, huh? Come on, there we go. Now, you can just move this to the side, and here's your armature right here. And just pull this up, and now it may fight you a little bit because it's going to want to grab those magnets as you pull it up. And of course, it's trying to fight me too. And you have to twist and turn a little bit. Let me get a better grip here. One handed is not good. Since this is never going to be used again, I'm going to use some pliers. Come on. There we go. Okay. Sorry about the shaky camera. So, you can see this has a little like helix cut gear set on there so when you pull it up you're going to have to twist it a little bit it will get caught by the magnet and that's our old one and as you can see here is our new one the main difference you can tell how it is a 12 volt see how skinny the wires are and how thicker the wires are in here the 6 volt has thicker wires because it runs more amps ohm's law you get more amps with less voltage got to pay peter to pay Pay Paul. So I'm just going to stick this right there. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you there's a measurement difference on between these two, okay? So we're going to take our calipers and this one is 1.583. All right. Put this one in. All right. This one measures like I say I've already machined this one down 1.586 on this one and what you're going to find is if it is too large what it will do there we go is it will have a binding spot so you'll hear it scrub a little I've already milled this one down it's clearing pretty good so now we just have to put it back together so bring our little setup over here open up our little brushes, go around the contact points, line it all up, get your little slots lined up, put your bolts back in, don't forget the little ground wire here folks, bam, now just kind of line this up to where it wants to be where this brushes have made a pattern kind of on the old one, get it kind of lined up there, it's pretty simple there's other videos I'm sure on the internet shows how quick and simple this is, but you never know until you'll do it. 
Like I say, the one thing I have noticed is on this particular one, my armature was larger, and I had to machine it down slightly. So let's get this going here. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to test it real quick. I have a power supply here. Not the best way to do this, but this is what I have right now. Ground is right here on this uh, section here, or you could ground it to the body. Center piece is power, and of course, my not making good connection through that. So let's just go directly to the frame. Right, and there we go. Well, wow, there we go, folks. See, and we know it works. So it is very simple to do. And once again, the part number is 113-955-811-B. Um, that's what's on the box here. That's what the supplier that I got this from supplied it as, as their part number. And there are multiple sources that do sell it. I bought this for about $35, and it's going to work pretty good. Now, if you do come into the um, problem like I had, and your armature is too big, what can you do? I don't live in a place where a machine shop, let me put it this way, I don't live in a place where a competent machine shop is readily available. So what I did was I took my armature over. All right, let's, get our, let's get our specialty tools. Our specialty tools here okay and I put it with the shaft side up into my drill press Titan said drill press because we where the chuck will grab will not grab on the teeth actually it's going to grab farther up the shaft turned it on and slowly milled this down all right you know or you could return yours and see if you can find a different one if that happens. Not all of them probably happen that way. And that has worked for me so far. And of course, if you're doing something like that, be very careful. You don't want to get a file in the face. So anyways, guys and girls, that right there is how you replace the armature on your 6-volt wiper motor and convert it to 12-volt. No more funky diodes, nothing else. Everything goes back together just like it does when it was 6-volt. So hopefully that helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And get out there and let's work on our cars and get them going again. See you guys later.